The recent bank failures of megabanks can cause more havoc to the real estate market. Quoting the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, this means, quote, the Federal Reserve cannot be so aggressive in raising short-term interest rates. Therefore, mortgage rates will decline, end quote. That statement alone seems like a good thing, right? Since rates have been so high and many buyers have been struggling to purchase homes, especially in more expensive markets like here in Hawaii. Well, there is always two sides to a coin. The flip side of lower rates is that unless it becomes really low again, like in the 3% and 4% we saw, current owners are not going to sell their homes. I've had many comments on my videos of people saying no one is going to sell their homes who bought during the 3, 4, and even 2% period rates. And that makes complete sense. I wouldn't sell and buy another house if I had bought at those remarkable low rates either. So here's the problem. The inventory is not going to increase for existing homes. Yes, there will always be some people who have to move for certain reasons, but the majority of owners who have locked in their rates at the low rates are not willing to sell and move. The only way that inventory is going to increase for, is for developers to build more homes. And in Hawaii, that's always been an issue. We just don't have enough new homes which are affordable being built. People may say that, well, there are numerous condo buildings going up in Kaka'ako, and yes, that's true. But those have mostly been multi-million dollar units, and unless the developers are offering lower rates, there are not for the average people here in Hawaii. So what's the bottom line? Well, the best advice I can offer at this specific time is wait and see. I know this may not be the answer you're looking for, but honestly, we don't know exactly how the feds are going to react to all those bank failures. They may continue to increase the rates and maybe at a lesser aggressive way, but they may not either. We just have to wait and see. Now, if you have to buy, then my best advice is to go ahead and try to lock in the rate in around 6% if you can. That's not the best rate, but it's not terrible. The good thing is one can always refinance to a lower rate in the future if rates ever go down. But the most important piece of advice I can give people is that sit down and have a conversation about your financial situation and future plans with a reliable lender and a real estate agent. Make a plan, a strategy, a roadmap for yourself to start building wealth. Real estate is always going to be a solid piece of investment. It's been proven many, many times. Your goal should be trying to become an owner at some point. So make a plan. Start thinking about how you can build your wealth. Make sure you follow me for more real estate tips.